Did you almost die? Yeah, I almost died. <laughs> uh, good morning, good afternoon. Hanging out with the other Drew. Where are you? Yeah. Other Drew. It's a glorious day. It's a glorious day. It's fall, but it's not fall. I don't even want to talk about autumn or winter coming. <laughs> Maybe. 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 Cause I only have eyes. I don't know. Cause I only have eyes. I don't know. Cause I only have eyes. I don't know. Cause I only have eyes. Today, we're gonna play with, where is it? Look at this guy. It's a new version of the Inductrix FPV. I'm still gonna call it a tiny whoop. <laughs> it's a tiny or, whoop. Or the red whoop. Red whoop. Cause this one's bigger. So in the past, they've always been like six millimeter motors. This one has eight millimeter motors and is just altogether larger. The blade hooked it up, they sent me some batteries and a charger, so I charged up four of these things before. Those are big. Yeah, so yeah, they are. They're like bigger. It's like out of the box. Something I don't like is that they they change the battery size, and I mean they probably had to because it's a bigger motor, so you probably needed the larger battery. But it's like I already have a big collection of tiny wood batteries that now just don't work with this, so that's kind of a bummer. If it flies that much better, though, you know you can. Well, I don't know because it weighs anymore. a lot more. Like feel that. Also, would have been good to weigh the two of them. I will, when I get home, I will weigh the red whoop versus one of my tiny whoops and I will put those weights right here. Binding. DSMX 22 milliseconds. Telemetry bind complete. Oh boy. It has like auto height. It's supposed to maintain height. Does a pretty good job, I guess. That's hands off the throttle stick. We're outside. Yeah, for all God. <laughs> so most people fly their tiny whoops or their inductrixes or whatever in auto level mode, which most people agree that for racing is better. Um, and I, I actually wouldn't disagree with that, but I still always fly in acro mode just because I want it to feel as close to like one of my mini quads as possible just because that's what I like. I don't like auto level. Green mode is, it holds its height, like I was just playing with, and then that's blue mode. I guess that means it'll have normal throttle control, but still auto level, and then we want red mode. There's a lady over there. Oh, oh, oh boy. Oh man, that was such a what the hell. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, those flips are kind of crazy. Okay, yeah, it cooks, but I don't think I like how it flips for some reason. Okay, this needs some expo tuning. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, if you're gonna fly these things in, in like rate mode, I definitely recommend adding some expo in your controller. Feel better? Yeah, it feels better. Oh, yeah, I can't quite pull out of the dives. Nope, 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 nope. You can't stop me. You can't stop me. <laughs> Takes a good crash, I guess. Oh, whoa! What? I did it by accident. Hold on, check this out. Okay, so if it's upside down. Hold on, hold on. Wait for it. What? Oh, oh, I love that's that. Awesome. Okay. That's cool. That's a winner. That's that's the best part of this so far. Okay. Yep. So the uh, the red whoop seems to kind of struggle a bit with 
like really fast flips or more like open air acro dives, split S's, stuff like that. So anyway, I've come to another park. I've got one more charged battery and we're gonna try and do a flight that's more focused on like gaps and stuff like that. Solid last battery. It's a lot of fun to fly. It's got more control for hitting the tight gaps. But yeah, I mean, I like to be able to do more um, flips and, and things like that. So not great for that, but it's probably the best Inductrix FPV that Blade's ever made. The yellow one was really underpowered. Oh, I never actually tried the black one, so maybe that one's okay. Um, and this one, this one blows the yellow one out of the water. But overall, for what I like to do with them, I probably still prefer um, building my own with a Betaflight board that I can tune and like higher KV motors, so it's really got like stuff like that. I really wanted to be out flying earlier. I hate how early the sun sets now. It's, it's the worst, it's the worst, it's killing me. I think we've got like, 20 minutes of daylight left. Um, also, I went to a few parks before this, and uh, there's people everywhere. That's what I get for not just flying bandos like I should. Try to shake it up. Almost missed the light. Sun has gone down, great little session. Um, I did want to try to film like a motor comparison, but uh, I didn't even get a full flight on this quad. I, I crashed into a tree and broke it, broke it my lens. Can you see that? Not a big deal, easy to fix, but didn't get to, didn't get to fly for the purpose that I meant to, but got to fly for fun. And that's better anyway, right? So. Um, I had a great day. I'm gonna get this stuff packed up and head home, call it a night. Solid day. Thanks as always for hanging out, and I'll see you again soon.